Hello, hello, Earth signs, and welcome to your monthly shadow work reading. I am changing up the format of the way I do the um, monthly shadow work readings. Uh, so instead of it being individual, there will be three readings in one video for each elemental sign. So that way you guys just get four videos and then it's just less, you know, less videos everywhere. Um, with that being said, I just wanted to remind you all that um, the workshop series that I'm having, the next workshop is in four days and it's on May 4th. Um, and so if you guys want to pull through, um, there's definitely still tickets left. The workshop is all about energy healing one-on-one, uh, which is going to cover energy healing through different, like a, through a different lens than what, you know, people, uh, when they think of energy healing, what it looks like. So most people think of energy healing, they think of Reiki, they think of crystal healing or angel healing, but there's so much more different ways to work, like do energy healing that than just that. So that's what we're going to be talking about. It's a two hour workshop. And if you can't actually make it on the fourth, it's totally fine because the link is always available for replay. That's why I do um, my workshops through YouTube. So you can always access it through the link provided and also if you're a patreon member high priest high priestess level you actually you get access to all of my workshops because all of the, the workshops are posted uh for you guys to see including all the past ones so you guys can binge watch them um, if you become a patreon member uh with that being said let us get started let us get started with taurus so we're doing the earth signs so let's see what's going on with Tauruses. I know this season is it's like you guys have a whole eclipse season in your birthday season. It's, it's a mess. Uh, but Taurus is shadow work. I'm um, reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising collectively. What does Tauruses need to know? Okay. 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 One more card. What does Tauruses need to know? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Okay. And this is kind of what I've been saying with the whole Uranus thing. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Page of Swords, King of Cups. Two of Wands and the Star card, the card of destiny, because there are there are quite a bit of things that have been happening to y'all that have to do with destiny. That's definitely it's like a man. It's, it's been like meant to happen. So you guys have the Six of Swords, Justice, and the Ten of Cups, which means that there is something um, that you might not understand why you need to release, why you need to let go, why you need, why it needs to shift in order for you to get where you need to be. I cannot stress this enough. Uranus has been absolutely throwing y'all down, okay? Fighting, okay? There's just been a lot of things done and said. But when it comes to Uranus energy, 1000%, listen, you have to let yourself be your best self. I cannot stress that enough. You have to let yourself be your, your best self. If anybody is dragging you down, if anybody is preventing from you to be in balance, be in your own power, to sit in your own pleasure, to be there for you, especially when it comes to love and relationships because you guys have been going through it for a while, you need to release that so you can get to, to, get to that place, get to the happily ever after where you will be treated respectfully, where you will be treated with love, where you will be in 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 a relationship that's actually going to um be meaningful purposeful that's actually going to treat you correctly okay that's going to come at you correctly it's, it's some of you are actually in the process of you know healing some karmic relationships healing through some karmic relationships even some marriages from the past um there's been a lot of healing before you can you know get to the point where it's like okay i'm in my happily ever after i got what i wanted thank you i i'm in like i finally got that thing that you know what i what i actually wanted this whole time i finally got that i've been messing around here and there it, for years because you guys don't mess around for a week you guys mess around for years second y'all get loved up y'all get loved up for a long time and so like now it, there's definitely a mental shift happening where you are you want to be in a relationship that is balanced, that you that it's not just gonna mess with you, that's not gonna just mess around with your mind, that's not just gonna mess around with your emotions and treat you bad. It's like no, like you guys are setting intention and the transformation that's happening for the month of May is actively happening to set you up for success later. And no matter what happens this month, that's the way that you need to see it. That's really the way you need to see it. I cannot stress it enough. I cannot stress it enough. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, break it. Listen, memories, listen. Okay, let me grab the one that dropped on the floor. We got communication, we have breaking free, and we have memories. This Mercury retrograde is going to be a little bit liberating for y'all um, in a good way, but, you know, y'all going to be stuck in, like, the reflection, you know, awareness. Y'all going to be stuck in the, oh, but oh my God, but I don't, oh, but, oh. 
you know, like in, in the little, in the moments of whining where we're like, ah, kind of in that kind of state. Y'all yeah, gonna be stuck in that for a minute, but for the most part, uh, there will be a lot of reminiscing. And like I said, there are certain things that are connected. It's a past life issue. Some of you have been dealing with some karmic relationships that you are resolving. I do recommend a past life reading to, to work through that. But you guys are liberating yourselves. So you guys are reclaiming your power. You guys are mentally getting clear, clear about where you're going next and why you need to do what you need to do like it's very much like okay i i need to i need to be happy i need to be satisfied i need to be loved i i need to be able to connect with someone in the way that i know it, how it should feel you know like you guys are it's time to take uh it's take a time to breathe out um because you guys are in in a just kind of going through a very very deep transformation where you, you you're not allowed to settle for less than what you what you deserve uh taurus sun moon rising taurus sun moon and rising may shadow work taurus sun moon and rising may shadow work okay so we have your dreams need a practical plan full moon and taurus okay <laughs> Your spirits are like, uh, you need to restructure. If this person ain't it, you better set expectation for the for what you know that's gonna look like, what it should look like. Okay, and then we have meditate and contemplate because some of you again are going to be very, very some of your dreams might actually be a little bit, you know, uh mm, like you might be thinking about something like, oh my god, why is this coming up? Why is this, you know? bottom of the deck you're very close to achieving your goal um because you guys are you guys have been going through a journey for a minute but it's definitely there's a lot that within your own mind needs to be processed within your own emotion needs to be processed there's certain things that are almost haunting you and it's from the past that needs to be resolved and so you do need to take time to, out to do that and then once you do that you really need to have a plan really need to get grounded on what it is that you want and it should have you know it should be about being treated correctly it should be about being loved correctly and and having your life partner if that's what you want um which i suspect is what you want but definitely having your life partner and living that life that you actually want friendship good fortune okay because y'all don't understand how certain things are shifting y'all don't understand how certain things are you know going to be moving around how certain things are going to end up you know taking place y'all just need to give things time you are headed towards a place of abundance when you have that you know look affluence like growth it's just that you guys need to grow up a little bit you guys need to again uranus being in taurus has been very very much you know Mm, transformational it's been it's been putting y'all through a lot um but y'all need to go with the flow of it okay and be very mindful of mercury retrograde there's some shit that's gonna pop off during mercury retrograde um that's gonna trigger you emotionally uh so be very mindful be very protective um focus on those who you love and those who are close to you during this time but don't you know overextend yourself don't over push yourself too much um make sure that you are tapping in into your own energy y'all rule finances and possessions and you guys that's that when it's something is your power you need to make sure you're embodying your power um and that you are taking back control in the narrative of surrounding your power okay so just make sure that you're not letting anybody take from you that those who are around you are adding okay adding to your growth adding to your purpose adding to who you are at the end of the day okay don't let yourself be dragged into some drama and some nonsense because you are headed towards that thing that you've always wanted that thing that you've always wanted to have that's where you're headed so don't let people you know we're not doing that today okay so thank you for watching i'm gonna do um leo no i'm sorry not leo <laughs> i'm bugging um i'm gonna do virgo next and then capricorn so stay tuned for the next one all right all right virgo let's see what's coming up for you and your shadow work for the month of may 2022 sun moon and rising what's going on with virgo okay let, mm, 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 mm. oh mm, okay all right so virgo oh this retrograde's not gonna be good um bottom of the deck the hair fat taurus energy two of wands and the knight of pentacles wow 
Wow. Okay, so y'all are being haunted. This Mercury retrograde is not going to be pleasant. I can already see that for y'all. I am so sorry. There are certain things, certain intentions also that are being blocked by some of your traumas, some of the anxieties that you have running around. There's, I see a lot of money anxiety too. Um, but there are certain manifestations that are not coming to pass because... Mm, Oh, this Mercury retrograde is going to turn things upside down. When there's a Mercury retrograde, anytime there's a Mercury retrograde, Geminis and Virgos get affected the most no matter what sign it's in. Now, the unlucky part of this is that Mercury will be in retrograde in Gemini, and that makes it worse because that is your sister sign. And so it really, ampl it really makes it a little bit more chaotic because it's channeling through Gemini energy. And so this definitely feels like a very upside down time. Um, you guys are definitely not emotionally grounded. You guys are not physically grounded. There's definitely a need for grounding coming for you guys when it comes to shadow work. But there's a lot of mental activity in the form of anxiety. And you guys, it's fun, funny how you guys got all of the elements. Um, but then there's some actions or movements that you're trying to make. I feel like by the time you get through the end of uh, May going into June, even though Mercury Retrograde will still be happening, you guys are still kind of humbly trying to make moves towards the next direction. I don't necessarily think that May is going to be the greatest month for y'all um, because it feels like you guys are removing blockages. And I feel like that's what y'all should be focusing on, on. That's what you should be focusing on. Removing blockages, literally slaying your demons, literally focusing on removing the problems that have popped into your life, removing maybe friends or people that just have outstayed their welcome and have been causing a lot of chaos. Um, because it's been blocking your manifestations, been blocking your magic, it's been blocking your power. Okay, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. May shadow work. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. May shadow work. Oh. Mm. I'm telling you. Ah. Friendship. I'm telling you, this, the fact that y'all getting the discernment card, knowing that y'all are one of the most discerning people on this planet, like, hope, listen. This is the hope. Y'all have will have a little bit more hope towards the end of the month, but the whole May is going to be a little bit messy. Then we have friendship. Literally, some of y'all might have to end some friendships. Some of y'all might have to, you know, go on hermit mode and awareness. Uh, some of y'all might need to, you know, do a one-two step to the side because it's the way it's coming up. It's like, mm hmm. And it's like on top of that, we're on an earth sign season, which you're supposed to be benefiting from, but you guys can't because of that Mercury retrograde. It is a blockage. It is a blockage. Listen, if your intuition is telling you not to do something, don't do it. If your intuition is telling you not to respond to somebody, don't do it. Like just don't do it. Okay. Um, Virgo. Ooh. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius, and work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. You guys are definitely, you guys definitely need to do some healing, but it feels like it's very, you guys also need to be grounded and focusing in on your emotional energy. Um, make sure that you are looking at also the things that you're investing in as far as like, oh, is this friend like, okay, I love this person, it's been in my life for a minute, blah, blah but bigger picture they're really toxic they're always starting some shit they're always like and like you need to look at things in, in in a very in a different perspective okay um because it's kind of been making you guys stay a little stagnant and it's not looking cute it's not looking cute some of your fears in regards to being alone not being loved not being liked not being successful it's like you guys are being so harsh on yourself right now um and you need to push through that okay push through that because you are being your own worst enemy in may lord jesus okay 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 transformation shift there's definitely a shift that's going to be happening this month um there's definitely going to be a shift happening for you guys this month knowledge you guys need to and the fact that you guys had sagittarius too um you guys need to kind of protection bottom of the deck what did i say um you guys need to kind of like reel it back in uh for this month uh there's definitely a need for you guys to just you know not mm, not overdo what you don't need to overdo 
but also allow things to take their course and you know transmute and leave if they need to leave and move and shift if they need to move um but uh, you guys are definitely going through a very deep transformation and you need to focus on grounding yourself you need to focus on yourself your body um also focus on how you've been sleeping and focus on healing yourself in that regard like make sure you're paying attention to you and not just giving everybody else your energy during this time this is not a time even though you rule medicine you rule healing you rule serving others this is not the month where you serve anybody but yourself okay it's just not the time um so that is your reading next is going to be capricorn okay capricorn let's see what's going on capricorn shadow work from may 2022 sun moon and rising capricorn shadow work May 2022 sun moon and rising Capricorn shadow work okay let's see what we got okay okay so huh bottom of the deck three of pentacles and Saturn the world um this month y'all need to stay a little bit consistent within the work that you need to do um there's definitely a lot of, there's a lot of things that you guys are working on and you guys need to stay consistent but also be make sure that you are adding your emotions to it don't just do the work to do the work and be like you know what it's gonna be great anyway period but you need to make sure that you're emotionally invested you're doing what you love if you're doing what you love this month you are going to be very very much blessed the chariot that's that energy of cancer coming through that's hinting to your success um pushing through regardless of of how you end up kind of using this energy you'll be able to succeed but there's definitely something to be said about doing it correctly okay this is why we have the three of pentacles coming up and you know saturn is like set yourself up for success make sure you're doing what you love this month so if you are actively um whether it be you know applying for a new job or trying other opportunities or trying or switching up your content let's say you have your own business let's say you have your own brand let's say you're an influencer let's say you want to start doing podcasts or something um make sure it's something that you love it will be successful if you're passionate about it you have to be emotionally invested in order to water that intention okay if you're just doing it because you know it's going to get you money you're going to get bored of it okay um you're going to get real real bored of it um this month is also calling on you to be in a be in your emotional energy a little bit more um mercury retrograde is definitely going to tug at your heartstrings if you are a capricorn sun moon rising or venus and you are a single uh you might be setting some intention um for some romance to come in as well there's a great time to do it even though mercury will be in retrograde um there's a good time to call on like past lovers uh, from past lives um that you've had good relationships with and by the way yeah that is something that you can do spell work wise um especially when it comes to like life partners or people that you've had um relationship with before in past lives i cannot stress this enough i don't mean past 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 like in this lifetime who you you know move on from if you have um, but i mean like in past lives uh this is a great time to call on a partner that you know feels at home to you feels very much like oh my god i can talk to you about anything i could just literally talk to you about anything i could just share so much with you like i just feel so comfortable with you i just oh I, I have that that thing that thing you have that sauce that thing okay um there's a great time for you guys to focus on that as well make sure you're also not settling if that's what you are passionate about uh when it comes to romance and love um make sure you're not settling make sure that you are uh and, and you know we technically generally don't settle but if you have been on the verge of settling this is not the time to give into that shit uh so stick with your guns okay set intention for what it is that you want your heart your love your manifestation to be like and stick through it okay don't take anything less because that's not how we do things anyway okay um yeah my cocky capricorn side is coming out but y'all y'all know we just we a little cocky sometimes we just we just don't tell anybody generally <laughs> Okay, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, May 2022, Shadow Work. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, May 2022, Shadow Work. Okay, this is my, oh, what the, what did I say? Feelings, the key is feelings, okay? Be in your feelings, my love. This is not the time for you to not be in your feelings, be in your feelings. Be in your feelings. Work through your feelings. Manifest through your feelings, okay? Work with the water element. That is our opposite element anyway. We work really good, okay? We work real good with the water element. Trust, trust. 
Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Gratitude. Listen. Gratitude. Gratitude. Healing. Um, gratitude. Because some of y'all need to be a little bit, you know, just sit, sit in awareness, especially when you are in the state of manifestation. And it's so funny to me because it's almost like you guys are manif are manifesting on the background. Like you guys are doing things in the background. Like you know how you how your computer is running certain things in the background. That's what you guys are doing in the background. Like there's a whole ass Mercury retrograde happening, and you guys are like, yeah, but I'm still on track, baby boo. I'm not getting just disrailed from all the energies that are happening. Like I know what my intentions are, and you know what? I know it's coming, and you know what? I'm just gonna focus on me right now. I'm just gonna focus on what's up right now. And I, you know, if this Mercury retrograde makes me a little emotional, that's fine. I'm grateful for the things I learned. I'm grateful for where I'm at. I'm grateful that I'm working towards the things that I'm working on. Like you guys are. You guys are doing the thing. You guys are doing the thing for, for me. You guys really are. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, May. Shout out work. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Luck is on your side. Okay, new moon in Sagittarius. And we have, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Um, Your cardinal energy is definitely going to get a little triggered this month. Um, Just follow your intuition in regards to that as well. Um, But there's definitely, you know, a need for you guys to just... Stick, stick to your guns as far, as far as what you're calling in. I cannot stress this enough. Do not settle. Do not like, mm -mm. you're going to get exactly what you want. You just need to stay consi consistent and put in the work. Put in the work. Saturn is really like blessing us for the month of May. Um, Literally. But on the low, it's like a secret. It's almost like a, a Capricorn secret. Um, It's like if you need to know, you need to know. Basically. Capricorn, Summon, and Rising. Shift affluence which is a card of abundance y'all i'm just to stay to stay to stay listen bottom of the deck is true to stay listen stay in your power stay in your lane don't tell nobody your business don't be telling nobody what's going on how you're feeling about certain things just do the work uh apply yourself you know make sure that you are setting yourself up for success that you're there for yourself that you're grounding yourself and you'll be fine you'll be fine boo if you are definitely about to launch something and a creative idea, or something, it's going to be successful. Just put in the work, babes. Okay. Um, so thank you, Earth Signs, for watching um, the shower work reading. I hope that you guys got all the messages that you needed. I will definitely see you in the next one. Have a blessed day. Bye.